Teresa, welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me here today. Today I'm going to be using the gel plate and I'm going to show you four different ways of using VersaFine Claire ink pads on the gel plate. I have a large selection of these. I love them for stamping with, um, one of my favourite brands of ink pads. And although I've covered other types of ink pad on the gel plate, I've never actually shown a tutorial using these. But I'm going to show you four different ways of using them and I'm going to be creating these four different finished projects with the prints that I make today. As always, I do like to try and show you a finished um, project just to give you an idea of what to do with the prints that you've created. So I'm going to move these out of the way, get set up with my plates and I shall be back to show you how it's done. As always, I'm going to give you a quick rundown of the items that I'm using today. As you can see, I've got two sizes of gel plate out today. I've got my four inch round gel plate and my five by seven inch gel plate, both Jelly Arts brand. Um, use whichever size you've got. It really doesn't matter. I just, you know, looking at the stencils and the stamps I'm going to be using today, I felt these were probably going to give me the best size composition that I want. I'm going to be using a selection of VersaFine Claire inks. In the past, I've covered Distress inks and Distress Oxide inks on the gel plate. Uh, I've looked at alcohol inks and things like that. I have a lot of VersaFine Claire inks. I use them for stamping. They're one of my favourite brands of ink pad, but I've not used them on the gel plate um, in a tutorial. So I thought, you know, I'll, I'll show you how versatile they can be. I have lots of colours here. Um, I think there's sort of 20 something colours in the range, but I have a whole selection. I'm going to be using different colours on each of the projects um, today. And again, sort of mix and match whatever colours that you, you want to use. It doesn't really matter too much. I have some paint. One of the techniques I'm going to use is going to use some acrylic paint. And I have this um, pink chiffon Deco Art Americana. It's a very, very pale pastel pink colour. Um, I have a spray bottle that has some isopropyl alcohol in it for one of the techniques. Be aware that obviously you don't want to be inhaling alcohol. Um, it, the fumes are not good for you. And obviously if I'm using a spray here and it's atomizing it into a fine mist, be very careful. I'm going to have the window open here. I'm not going to be inhaling um, any of this. I don't want it in my lungs. If you're at all um, unsure, then by all means, put a little face mask on or something to help prevent inhaling any atomized alcohol. Just be aware of that little health and safety tip there. I've got my brayer. This is just my speedball rubber brayer. Could do with a bit of a clean actually, but I think it'll be all right for today. I've got a couple of stencils. Um, I have this large one here. This is by a company called That's Crafty. And it's just called Mandala as far as I'm aware on their website. Um, I like the design of that. I have this one here. This is a new one to me. This is from um, Pretty Pink Posh. I believe it's called Jungle Foliage. If I'm at all wrong, I will pop that up on, on the... Um, on a caption on the screen and I've also got a stamp I'm going to use this large floral stamp this is by Hero Arts and Gina K Designs and it was called Friendship Blooms um, I just wanted quite a large stamp so I'm, I'm going to be using that one I have some smooth white cardstock I'm just going to be using to pull my prints on it's about 300 GSMs other than that paper towel for cleaning up. I've got some water. I've got some scrap paper if I need to clean my brayer off in between colours of ink or paint. Um, but that's about it. So I'm going to get on with my first technique, which is just going to be using the ink and a stencil. And I'm going to be doing this on the round plate, the four inch round plate. So the colours I'm using for this are verdant and rainforest. I thought, you know, the stencil is a foliage design. Let's go for some nice green colours. And I'm just going to apply it directly to the plate. One colour on one side. One colour on the other side. And I'm just going to use the brayer to soften that line in the middle. I'm going to pop my stencil on top, deciding on the placement where I want it. I 
and I am going to pull a print through the stencil like so I can trim this little bit off here I'm now going to remove the stencil pull a second print and again I'm going to be trimming this down so I don't mind that I've got this little bit of ink that's come off the plate to the side this will be the one that I'm probably going to use that's the effect I was after. Um, the first pull is, is complete bonus print. So two for one on that technique. That's that for technique number one. So I'm just going to rinse my stencil off, just clean my plate off, and I shall be right back to show you the second one. For the second technique, I'm going to be creating a sort of a night sky effect. I'm going to use the twilight monarch and purple delight colors of ink pad and i'm going to be using a little spray of this isopropyl alcohol so once again applying the ink directly to the plate use the brayer just to soften that blend a little bit I'm going to lightly mist a little of this isopropyl alcohol and I'll see it start to react with the ink and create a, a mottled effect and there's our night sky effect or even like a looks like the surface of the moon really nice effect there once again just going to clean off my plate for our third technique i'm going to be using that um, floral stamp from hero arts and gina k i'm going to use charming pink and chianti that's the two colors i'm going to use for this one and i'm going to use the seven by five inch plate and really should just move this other one out of the way now Once again, I'm just going to blend that join. I'm going to take my stamp. My stamp block's a little bit small for this. I, I usually use my stamping platform, but it'll be fine. I'm going to place that down. This works really well with large designs, background designs. Lift that off and pull a print. I'm 
we get this beautiful negative image on there. And for my final technique, I'm going to begin with a layer of paint. And as I said, this was the pink chiffon deco art Americana paint. Going to brayer on a even coating. Going to pop on my stencil. I'm just going to use this paper that I've been cleaning my brayer to remove some of that paint through the stencil. And then leaving that stencil in place for now, I'm going to apply some ink and I'm going to use Warm Breeze and Glamorous. And because I don't want to contaminate the ink pads um, with any res residue of paint, I'm just going to use um, some sponge daubers here. These are just the little finger daubers. You could use the Tim Holtz applicators. I'm going to remove the stencil and take a print. And there we have that lovely um, two-tone effect. I think I might actually just now pop another layer of paint because I can still see I have some ink on here. And I think the remains of that will be dry enough that I can just pop another layer, a thin layer of paint over the surface. and see what else we can pull off this plate. And there we have another nice print, um, slightly more subtle than the first one. Just compare them side by side, but really like that as well. And that's cleaned that plate off perfectly. So I'm just going to move this out of the way and I'll show you the prints that we've got. And then I'll be able to go away and just make them, turn them into some completed projects. And here were the prints that we've created today. We, first of all, we started off with that uh, jungle foliage stencil and we created these two prints. And say, so I think this is the one that I'm going to be creating the finished project with, but we have both of those to use and they're really nice. Then we created our night sky effect with the spritz of alcohol. Um, really like that. Nice, just subtle mottled effect in the background. Perfect for adding um, 
a die cut image or stamped sentiment or something over the top. Then we used our stamp to create this lovely negative image with this beautiful floral stamp. I really like that. I think that just trimmed down and, and matted and layered is going to create a very striking card. And then finally we used um, some paint and some ink together and we actually got two prints. Again, I should probably just use this one um, for my finished project, but both of them perfectly usable. And I do like this subtle background effect here. Really nice to possibly do some more stamping or something over the top of that. So as always, I'm just gonna go away now and create some simple projects just to sort of show you what they could look like in a finished card. And I shall be back to show you. So these are the projects that I've completed today. So this was the first one that we used the stencil. And this was the second image that I pulled using the stencil. I finished this off with some die cuts. This is the Sizzix um, Wildflower Stems number two. Just die cut some foliage and a flower there and just finished it off with a happy birthday. The happy birthday is from this set of Gina K stamps which is the Inspiration Mosaic. Really like that, nice card for a male or female birthday. Next up was our card that we used the spray of alcohol on it and I thought quite appropriately again from this um, Inspiration mosaic set of stamps use the sentiment there always shoot for the moon even if you miss you land in the stars and finished it off with these ever so cute little star embellishments um for those that are interested these are by pretty pink posh and they look just like little sugar sprinkles and that's the unicorn dreams set so just took some of the little stars out of there and stuck those on Next up was our stamped um, print where we used this Gina K and Hero Arts stamp. Just used um, one of the sentiments off that set there and um, just matted onto some gold and black card to finish that off. A very nice simple um, birthday card there. And finally this was the one that we used the mandala stencil and some paint as well as the inks. And so I liked the colours and used one of these die cuts from the Art by Marlene Studio Light set of um, images. And it was one on this page here. And um, really nice these are, I use these quite a lot. And the rabbit here, perfectly color coordinated to this background. So pop that on there. And then I'd got the chit chat seasonal stickers from Tim Holtz um, and had the happy Easter, added that up the corner and I can send that to somebody as a lovely Easter card this year. So I hope that's given you a few ideas again of other products that you can use on your gel plate, um, different effects that you can get by using those products and then you know some ideas on what to do with the finished prints um, when, when you've when you've got a little pile of prints sitting there. So as always uh, please leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I shall see you again soon. Bye!